Hello, Handpan family. Nice to see you. So I've had some friends ask me for an update since we've been more or less under the radar for the last couple of years. And uh, so here it is. <laughs> We have been traveling across the country quite a bit since my daughter was born and well, we were living out of a pop-up trailer and a 17-foot pull-behind trailer and then moved across the country multiple times and traveling around teaching and doing some building and finally we decided to settle back in Florida and we're really happy to be back. Uh, we found a place that we really like and we've been spending the last year really getting it ready for all the things we want to do and we feel we're getting closer now. Um, don't plan on going anywhere for a while. So that feels tremendously wonderful after years of traveling with a <laughs> little kid. So we're, we're really happy to be grounded. And I'll show you a little bit of the land right now. All right, so this is my back porch and I'll show you the backyard. Boom. That bright, I bet it's really bright. Here we go. Oh God, too bright. Okay, something like that. So, yeah, here we are. This is um, where my daughter plays, one of the places. This is a gigantic pine tree. And, uh, <laughs> and then we have some orange blossoms, which just finished and smelled amazing. And uh, here we have the Confederate Jasmine, which is in bloom and smells amazing. And here is my studio. So some of you <laughs> may find it funny. Uh, let's see here. A couple of weeks ago, I had it fully finished and set up and realized that uh, I hate this paneling. <laughs> it's got this inside. And it just looks hideous and drives me crazy. I didn't like the color. So again, my battle with perfectionism. So after having it all completed, now we're back to square one. <laughs> oh my God, it's loud. Hold on. Hold on now. Hold on. You must be quiet. Yeah. All right. This is half my office condensed or my full office condensed into half. <laughs> which is a little bit crazy. Um, I've been working with a bunch of builders, selling instruments and working on some uh, really interesting ideas, exploring some orchestral arrangements. So last year, that was the full focus, was on creating more orchestral ranged stuff. Shunk. And I'm really excited to show you some of that. That should be coming in the next week or two. Some of those compositions, we've been working with uh, some local folks who are brand new to handpan, been playing for like eight months and amazing. Been doing really cool stuff. So soon you'll get to hear that. And uh, anyways, let me show you this ridiculousness. Boom, boom, boom. So this used to be, if you can see this like amazing panels and we painted it <laughs> three times. And uh, I just, nothing, I didn't like anything. Finally I realized, oh, it's the paneling I don't like at all. So here we are. I've never drywalled before. Um, I'm not even sure you're supposed to use it this way, but we just, I caked it on and caked it on and caked it on. This is the first coat and uh, another coat is coming and uh, maybe a third and that should be it. So I've been working with a bunch of students lately and this conversation always comes up often comes up around like not wanting to play music or not wanting to share music until it's really perfect at the certain level or feeling like, hey, I can't play because 
I, uh, I'm not quite good enough or I can't share because I'm not quite good enough and or fast enough. And I've really noticed that there's this strong focus on, yeah, being really technically proficient and fast as a marker of our success. And I, I've been really going deep into like, what is the story, the stories that we tell ourselves that are most influential in our lives. One of the reasons that the hand pan is so powerful, we really need to be able to get to the place of making music f because it feels good and focusing on how it feels in our body and how it feels in our hands and where it is in our breath. And I feel like that's absolutely essential f for the evolution of humanity. It used to be something that we were really, I think that we were more adept at because our focus wasn't as fragmented. And right now things are so fast. Life is just like And I think fast is great. Um, but there are times where we just need to hear some notes with some space. And we just need things to be really calm. And those of us who can play from that place, I think it's really valuable. And so I have a lot of students who feel like, ah, uh, maybe I'll play out and I don't know, I need to practice a little bit more. And my feeling is like, hey, the uh, actually what you're bringing is perfect as it is to be in your body and to be in your breath and to have a feeling that's really tender. It might just be about like the jasmine blossom or whatever, like my feeling around my family and or the, the my daughter's voice or whatever it is. It really doesn't matter. The cup of coffee I drink, some story that is sincere in the moment and, and speaking that sincerity with no agenda, really in a relaxed way, I think is just, it's so powerful. So I encourage you to, to simplify and enjoy the process. Uh, maybe I'll, maybe I'll kind of noodle on that idea. Let's just grab something. <laughs> oh my goodness. Well, I hope that that was helpful for you and enjoyable. Um, yeah, it's really challenging times right now and, and the world is, is so beautiful and there is a lot of suffering and I, I feel like feeling and breathing and listening and enjoying the simple pleasures is really a deep, powerful antidote. This instrument has so much, so much medicine for us and for people. So, uh, onward and upward. Hooky ducky, have a very nice day.